last video I made pajamas maybe for winter time um, this time I'm going to make little short pajamas I went ahead and surged around three sides of the part that will be the top of her shorty pajamas and I would say I you know I didn't measure I just wrapped it around her and it just depends on how um, much gathers you want first I traced my pattern on the wrong side of the fabric and because I want my um, little flamingos all going the same way I'm not going to be able to fold it so I'll have to sew the shoulder seam rather than doing all these little facings and everything I'm just going to line it it's a lot easier so I put right sides together I did open up the front or the back, whichever you want to do. I think this will be my front. I'm going to sew up and around and back down. I also sewed down the sides. Now I'm ready to turn it. I want to, actually, I want to go it from the big side. Use my handy dandy tweezers. And this takes a little while, so I'll do it off camera, but you get the idea. And I'll finish pulling it through. And you want the corners to be sharp and the curves to be nice and flat. I'm going to go press it with my iron. And I think I mentioned that you could open it in the back or the front. And I'm going to open mine in the front. The only reason I'm doing that is so I'll have a whole flamingo. Okay, I'll need a strip of fabric to gather the bottom part of these little pajamas. And then this, I'll show you how to connect all of that. Well, the good thing about American Girl doll is her cloth body is like a dress form. You just can stick pins in there. Um, if I had it to do over, I would have made this little band here wider because I'm really having to pull it to get it to meet. And I hesitate about giving you um, measurements because the dolls are different sizes. They're stuffed differently. Anyway, I wanted to show you what I did on the wrong side. I put right sides, I folded the band, put right sides together, stitched it, and I will make sure I finish my edge with a zigzag or serge. And that makes a band. You could use a ribbon. And then I'm just going to sew it, top stitch it, onto this part. And it wouldn't hurt to make this longer too. So when you cut out that pattern, give yourself a little extra. But I'm following the pattern exactly, just showing you what to do. Top stitch it here, and I'll top stitch it on this side. You could slope the shoulders, and I have a video on that I'll link. But on this one, I want it, it to look like tie shoulders without, without having to make tie sh shoulders. This is an easier way. So I just took ribbon and tied a bow. And again, you can make that pattern lower. Just add an inch or so. And I have mine really high, but I'm going to keep it like that. It's all right. If you watched the previous video, you saw me take the pants pattern and make them wider. And the way you do that is just to cut your short, shorts pattern in half. I want more of a bloomer than a um, fitted shorts. And draw around. Just draw around the 
shorts pattern. I've seen people on YouTube do this for people clothes just to make them not so tight. I sewed on the curves and I'm going to cut on the pencil lines. You're clipping the seams and I'll, I will finish that with a zigzag. I searched the edges and then went ahead and made my hem while the garment was flat. I'm going to take the elastic and put it around her leg, cut it, and then cut another piece for the other leg. I, I cut my elastic a little bit shorter than the doll's leg because I want lots of gathers. And an easy way I found to do the elastic is to find the middle and then start sewing in the middle to this end. Then sew from the middle to the other end. Just makes the gathers more uh, evenly distributed. I'm going to fold the top down and I'm going to do that um, drawstring idea again that I did on the previous video by putting a ribbon and making a little um, slit right here and pulling it the ribbon through to the front. And I've threaded the ribbon through the little casing and I'll just tie a bow. And I clipped it off. And you can see that I could leave it long or push it up. I'm sorry about all the noise. It's kind of amplified on my microphone. But that's how it will look. Now to make the shoes, I'm going to make the, the shoes that have the open toe as the slippers. So I went ahead and drew that pattern out and stitched the curves. And I will insert here that I did you put the right sides together with this, um, actually I bought a sheet one time and I have used this as my lining for many projects. And I just almost forgot to tell you. So one end closed. And of course the important issue here is to clip those curves so this shoe will not um, pucker. And I pulled it through, put a little top stitch right here. So when I glue it on to this part of the shoe, it will stay together much better. And I want the bottom, the sole of the shoe covered so that you'll see this peeking out of the, the toe of the shoe. And I just used, let me grab it, this, uh, what do you call it, to glue it down. And now I'm going to use the tacky glue, or you can use a glue gun. And I like this stuff because you have more control. And now I can just push that up and just let it dry. The tacky glue will stay stuck pretty good. I'm trying to make it even on this side. You can find pom-poms at the Dollar Tree, but I have a ridiculous amount in my craft supply. So I just dug one of those out and I'm going to put it on this little shoe. I think I'll just glue it. In order to get the shoe to fit correctly, go ahead and put it on your doll and pin it. And I 
Mine overlapped a bit too much, so I'm just going to fold it again. And sew it. I will sew it by hand. Now, the American Girl doll does have the mini American Girl dolls, but I haven't seen any um, at a thrift store or anything that I want to buy. So I saw this little doll at the Dollar Tree. Um, what is it? Lovely gal. And she comes with a dress. I thought it would be fun for her to take her doll to sleep with her at night. So I'm going to make some matching pajamas. I used this little dress that she came in. It looks very simple. I measured the bottom and cut those measurements. I measured the top and I did the same thing. Folded the top and I will put the ribbons at the top of the her little jammy set. I matched where the ribbons go and then I tried it on her and just sewed the rest. And here she is. I just hemmed it and called it a day but you could put lace on it or some kind of trim and uh, I didn't make bloomers for her she, she'll be all right. And I had some tiny pom-poms for the baby doll's shoes. I will link my video in the description box on how to finish off the shoe. In my last video, I'm afraid I did not make it clear about my patterns, I used the basic pattern for almost all my doll clothes, similar to the way fashion designers use a sloper. In fact, I don't buy any commercial patterns to make my own clothes, I have a sloper that fits my body. So I have listed the basic patterns all in one bundle. If you only want to sew one item, this is the top and pants. This pattern does have a different shoe. It's more of a spiry type shoe rather than the little ballet type slippers. The ballet type slippers and the boots are in the pattern bundle. So if you plan to make more than one outfit, and you plan to sew along with me, the best deal is to buy the bundle. Most of my future videos will be using the pattern bundle. In fact, today's video I'll be making using the vest, the pants, the shorts, and the shoes to make the little shorty pajamas. Thanks for watching.